Hello and welcome to another After Effects lesson. Um, this lesson is going to be a kind of a basic, just a text uh, screen, a slate or something. And I've got one already made. There's lots of colors and cool stripes and let's take a look at it. Okay, so pretty cool. Stripes are kind of moving around and changing colors and stuff. And So let's take a look about how we make this. All right. First off, let's get a new composition. I already have one here. So let's add a new solid. So layer, new, solid. Okay, and let's go to the effect, generate four color gradient. Now that's looking pretty good, but let's change this up a little bit. First off, let's, I don't want these colors exactly in the corners like that. Um, something about like that, let's take this yellow turn it green I really like that green and take that purple or take that pink I mean turn it blue and we'll do something a little bit like that okay now to make this you know animate like we had in the example where it was growing and uh, stripes and stuff changing colors what we do is first we go to layer, new solid, and we'll call this particle. And what we're going to do is add a particle effect to this. So go to effect, simulation, particle systems 2. And this, when I play it, there's a particle effect. Let's change these default settings to make something a little bit nicer. Up here, in the effects panel is um, all the, the the settings for the effect and what we want to do is go to the producer and change the X radius to really wide go to the physics velocity about 0.2 gravity negative 0.05 Okay, now longevity, we want to bring that way up. Let's do 15 seconds. And the position, let's bring it down here. What I'm doing is I kind of want to make it look like bubbles floating up. And that's looking pretty good. Except for it starts with nothing there. So what I'm going to do is move forward in time to where the whole thing is filled, take that, drag it to the beginning, and just extend my solid out to the end of the composition. So now it will play at the beginning. That looks pretty cool, but let's, uh, let's change it up a little bit. So the particle, let's change the colors. I don't want yellow, I just want white, I think. And the size is much too small. But I need to change this to a f shaded sphere. Sorry, a faded sphere. And bring up the size. Okay, and bring down the opacity. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Kind of looks like little smoke fog things going up. But what are we going to do to make that look like the example, like this? Well, I've got a trick. Let's add an adjustment layer. Layer, new, adjustment layer. And you can add effects to adjustment layers and it will affect all of the layers below it. So to this adjustment layer, effect, stylize, mosaic. So now we're starting to kind of see where I'm going with this. Let's adjust the blocks on this. We want, nope, sorry. We want zero vertical blocks. So it's just horizontal. And about 20 should do fine with the horizontal. Now let's do 25. Let's 
Let's see what three would do on that. Uh, let's leave it. Just one vertical block, uh, vertical and 25 horizontal. Now you can start to see what's going on here. But the colors are a little bit dim. Let's add a curves adjustment. So effect, color correction, curves. We're dark in that. Okay. Now, along with the curves, I want to add a vignette. So let's do another layer, adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, I am going to add a ellipse tool mask. To I turn it to the ellipse tool and I just double click and the mask comes up. So how do I turn this into a vignette? Well, let's go to effect, color correction, exposure. And what this will do is I can make it darker. But uh oh, that's in the wrong spot. So let's go to the mask and instead of add, let's subtract. And let's feather this. That's good. A little bit more. Turn off the mask. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, I want to darken this a little bit. It looks like the particles are just a little bit too bright. The death size is too big. Let's go back down to two. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Now, in my example, I had this black box there. And it kind of grew. That's easy enough to make. What that is, let's just do another adjustment layer. I'm teaching you bad skills here. Look at all these adjustment layers that aren't labeled. I'm so sorry. And let's do the rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is just create a rectangle there, an effect. Let's do the exposure again and just bring that down. So now you can see there's that line right through the middle where I can have text fly in. And I had it grow. So what I'm going to do with that is keyframe the mask path. So I click on the mask path and I want this to be really thin. I'll go forward about a second and a half. Let's go forward three seconds. And I animate it bigger. And then from here to the end, we'll just go slightly bigger, both sides. So it quickly gets big and then it slowly increases in size. But I want it to fade in. So let's also hit T on my layer for opacity. And I will keyframe the opacity. Bring that down to zero. Go forward a few frames. Bring that back up. And then you'll see that it fades on as it grows. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's look back at the example again. See how the background is almost shrinking and squishing. So let's, let's work on that right now. That's really easy to do. What I'm going to do is take this particle layer and the mosaic, the first adjustment layer, the color background. I'm going to pre-compose that. So Command Shift C will pre-compose. I'll call that background. And now I can take this and what I want to do is keyframe the scale and bring this let's see let's go to 200 percent just stretch it out wide and then at the end of the composition back to 100 percent and 
it will shrink back down to normal size. Okay, that's pretty cool. Almost there, let's get some text. And we'll have the text say, cool tapes. Stick it right in the middle. And I want to animate this text. Because I don't want it just to show up there. Uninvited, we gotta invite the text. So click on the text layer and go to animate and let's animate enable per character 3D. I want to do that. And let's animate the position. Okay, so I want this position to start I want it to start way far away, right close, almost right behind you. And I'm going to then keyframe the range selector. Keyframe the start position, go forward in time to about three seconds and let's have this go to 100 percent and you'll see the letters will fly on individually that looks pretty cool but you want know to make it look even cooler motion blur so I'm going to turn on motion blur let's take a look at that oh yeah that's what it needed Okay, so we're pretty much there. It's not exactly the same, but it's a nice, cool kind of a background to display text or titles or anything like that. And there's quite a bit of adjustments we can make. If I double click on background, I can get in here into this um, particle effect and change that. I can change the color. Let's say I don't like that green. I want something a little darker. And maybe I want some some purple back in there. Maybe some yellow. I can go in and change those colors and then it'll affect the final composition. Now just to make things a little bit nicer, let's take this text and let's slowly scale it over time. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's take a look at that. All right, we're there. That is our um, our colorized striped random background look that you know shrinks into place yeah and I think it ended up looking pretty cool so that'd be a nice uh, good way of doing a, a title scene a title title scene or introducing a new part of the video or something like that so thank you for watching and Yes, stay tuned, there'll be more. Thanks.